Hi, it's Carly McAvoy. I'm showing you uh, how to use your TI-84 Plus to do a permutation, combination, or factorial uh, calculation. This is a pretty simple thing once you know how to find it on your calculator. Um, I will say if you have other questions about how to use your 84, check out my description for this video where I have a playlist of other tutorials. Um, permutation is when order matters. So you're going to choose three winners from nine entrants, but you're going to choose a first, second, and third place, like in a horse race or something. And that's going to be nine and then choose three. And we're going to use the NPR button. We're going to find that button under math and then probability. You can scroll across the top like this to get to PRB, or you starting at math, you could just go one backwards to get there. And then you'll see number two is the NPR button. If I go down to that and hit enter, um, I can get that button. But if I want to enter this, I want to enter the um, 9 first. So I have 9, then math, I'm going backwards. And then I'm just going to hit number 2 because two was, it was 2 on the list. And then I want to choose 3, and I hit enter. And that gives me 504, 504 different ways that a first, second, and third uh, winners could come in. So then if I want to do a combination, then the order does not matter. So that would be something like you're going to give three people $100 from nine people. Everybody gets $100, whether they're chosen first, second, or third doesn't matter. They're still going to get the same prize. To do that, we're going to do a nine again. I'm going to hit math again, go to probability. You can just hit three because that's what it is on the list. Or you can go down there and hit enter. And then we're going to choose three. And we're going to see that there's 84 ways. When you have a combination, you have a lot fewer ways to do that because Jim, Sally, Jane is the same as Jane, Jim, Sally, right? So if you change people around, it doesn't change anything. So that's why that is uh, fewer different combinations. The factorial button is in there too. Factorial just means it, like the factorial of three is three times two times one. It's just multiplying and your fundamental counting principle. You use this button for that. Or if you were going to use the actual formulas for this, you'd use your factorial button. <coughs> so I'm going to do 9, math, and then you can see that um, if I go to probability, that number 4 on the list is that factorial button. I'm going to hit that and then hit enter, and it's going to show me that if I took 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 all the way down to 1, this is what I would get. A strange thing, though, is what do you get when you take 0 factorial? This has to be, we need to have zero factorial to be what it is, or else we wouldn't be able to do certain combinations or certain calculations, excuse me. So if I do zero math probability, and that was number four on the list, I'm going to hit enter, it gives me one. So this is something to remember, zero factorial always equals one. All right, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you next time.